You have to find out what makes you excited. What makes you want to get up each morning and go to work? Each success will create another success. The word momentum. You got to love what you're doing. Keep standing up always for your values. Things never, ever quit. I believe he's the best president this country ever had. Him and his word, and he sticks to it, and I love it. What is not to like about Donald Trump? All the right things, you know. They just got to get out of his way. And, and I don't care all the stuff that they say about him. <laughs> what do I care about that? He's the best president we've ever had in this country. Over 20 years ago, I coined the expression, think big, and it's been a part of my life ever since. Whether you agree with Trump or not, it doesn't really matter for this video. Over the course of your life, you will find that things are not always fair. Look at the way I've been treated lately, especially by the media. You can't let them get you down. You can't let the critics and the naysayers get in the way of your dreams. Adversity makes you stronger. Don't give in, don't back down, and never stop doing what you know is right. You will find that things happen to you that you do not deserve and that are not always warranted, but you have to put your head down and fight, fight, fight. And one of the most important things, never, ever quit. Never quit. You know, I went to a, a great school. I went to the Wharton School of Finance. And in that school, I met a lot of people, a lot of people heading industry today and over the past, very smart people. But I've watched some of the people grow. I've watched some of the most incredible, brilliant students. And they didn't make it like other people made it. And I've seen people quitting. And if they would have held out longer, they would have been successful. I've seen it so much. I've seen some of the most brilliant people in the world that never made it because they were quitters. One of the things about loving what you do is that it's not work, and therefore you don't quit automatically. It's a lot easier not to quit. But you can never give up. Now, you have to also have flexibility, though have flexibility. You have to always be able to change course a little bit, maybe always with that same goal, but don't quit. It's be In order to be successful, and you people are well on the road to success, you have to find out what makes you excited, what makes you want to get up each morning and go to work. You have to find it. If you love what you do and dedicate yourself to your work, then you will gain momentum. And look, you have to. You need the word momentum. You will gain that momentum. And each success will create another success. I'll tell you a story that's very interesting for me. When I was young, there was a man named William Levitt, Levittowns. You have some here, you have some in different states. Anybody ever hear of Levittown? And he was a very successful man became unbelievable. He was a home builder. Became an unbelievable success. Got more and more successful. And he'd build homes. And at night, he'd go to these major sites with teams of people. And he'd scour the sites for nails and sawdust and small pieces of wood. And they'd clean the sites so when the workers came in the next morning, the sites would be spotless and clean. And he did it properly. And he did this for 20 years, and then he was offered a lot of money for his company. And he sold his company for a tremendous amount of money, at the time especially. This is a long time ago. Sold his company for a tremendous amount of money. So he had a very, very interesting life. And the company that bought his company was a big conglomerate. And they didn't know anything about building homes, and they didn't know anything about picking up the nails and the sawdust and selling it and the scraps of wood. This was a big conglomerate based in New York City. About a 10-year period, they were losing a lot with it. It didn't mean anything to them, and they couldn't sell it. So they called William Levitt up, and they said, would you like to buy back your company? And he said, yes, I would. He so badly wanted. He got bored with this life of yachts and sailing and all of the things he did in the south of France and other places. He bought back his company, 
And in the end, he failed, and he failed badly. Lost all of his money. He went personally bankrupt. And I saw him at a cocktail party. And it was very sad, because the hottest people in New York were at this party. It was the party of Steve Ross. I got invited to the party. I was very young. And I go in, but I'm in the real estate business. And I see 100 people, some of whom I recognize. And they're big in the entertainment business. And I see, sitting in the corner, old man, who was all by himself. Nobody was talking to him. I immediately recognized that that man, the once great William Levitt of Levittown. So I went over and talked to him. Mr. Levitt, how are you doing? He goes, not well, not well at all. And he explained what was happening and how bad it's been and how hard it's been. And I said, what exactly happened? Why did this happen to you? You're one of the greats ever in our industry. And he said, Donald, I lost my momentum. I lost my momentum. He lost his momentum, meaning he took this period of time off long, years. And then when he got back, he didn't have that same momentum. In life, I always tell this to people, you have to know whether or not you continue to have the momentum. And if you don't have it, that's okay. Because you're going to go on, and you're going to learn, and you're going to do things that are great. But you have to know about the word momentum. Never quit. Never give up. Do something you love. When you do something you love, as a scout, I see that you love it. But when you do something that you love, you'll never fail. When you do something that you love, remember this, it's not work. So you'll work 24-7. You're going to work all the time. When you're not doing something that you like, or when you're forced in to do something that you really don't like, that's called work, and it's hard work and tedious work. So as much as you can, do something that you love, work hard, and never, ever give up, and you're going to be tremendously successful. People ask me about success. I've just started thinking about it over the last couple of years because I've seen a lot of it. Some people, they say, I've got to be successful. I've got to be. They'll never be successful. It's too crazy. They, they can't think straight. You have to have an ability to handle pressure. People that can handle pressure can be entrepreneurs, can be successful. Now, I have some friends that are really, really smart, but they can't handle pressure. In which case, they should work for somebody, do great, and have a good life. There's nothing wrong with it. But one of the things I tell people about handling pressure is, remember, because they asked me the question, how do you handle the stress? And, you know, somebody actually said, Donald, you're so handsome. Do you believe this? I love this person. <laughs> you're so handsome. How have you stayed so handsome under all this pressure? And I actually thought of it to myself. You have to remember, it doesn't matter. God matters. Your family matters. So as you continue to develop your talents and to make your mark upon the world, remember that nothing worth doing is ever easy. You'll have bad moments. I used to give speeches on success. I don't give them anymore. Was, that, that's what they like the best. You got to love what you're doing. And if you don't, just do something else. Find what you, especially at your age, you have to love what you're doing. You'll never be successful unless you get lucky, which could happen. But if you don't love what you're doing, find something else. If you don't love NASA, if you don't love space, do something else. And for the people that do, get over there and be with the space cadets, right? <laughs> but you got to love it. If you don't love it, you're just not going to, it's not going to happen.